today we woke up in Dunedin, Florida, and we're gonna be exploring this charming little town that is just a little bit north of Clearwater. We can't wait to see what the town has to offer. We've heard great things and we can't wait to show you. So let's go. Before we continue, let's make sure that we know that the city we're exploring today is Dunedin. Dunedin. And now that we know how to say it correctly, we can go ahead and start exploring. Okay, so here we are at the Ninth Bar, which is a coffee and company place. Let's go have some breakfast and coffee. When we walked in, we fell in love. The Ninth Bar Coffee and Company is a quaint little place just a few blocks from downtown. The design of the shop is modern and boho and right up our alley. The menu was displayed on a skateboard. The service was truly superb and we enjoyed watching the barista do his magic as he prepared our lattes. He really took his time and I'm convinced this is an art. The coffee was delicious. Guys, it was so yum. We also had some chocolate croissants to go along with our coffee. Since we're kids at heart and we were waiting to cool down a bit, we couldn't resist playing a game they had on the table and we thoroughly enjoyed it. Hola, I am teacher Catalina and I teach Spanish, but right now I am on summer vacation and I am sharing all of the beautiful places that I explore so that you can maybe plan a vacation or just travel alongside with me as I explore these beautiful towns. Today, we are traveling to Dunedin, Florida, and you don't want to miss this. They had these little libraries everywhere. As a teacher, I have to say, I absolutely love these cute little libraries. And they're by littlelibrary.org, and it says, take a book and share a book. And look how adorable it is. During this trip, I spotted several of those little libraries and they were fantastic. What are they, are you wondering? They are part of a worldwide movement by littlelibrary.org. Basically, these cute and cleverly designed boxes can be found throughout the world where you can basically borrow a book or deposit a book for others to read. What a great idea. We decided to drive a bit and try to explore some of the places that we couldn't just walk to. So we got on the car, drove through the causeway, and found the number one state park in Florida. That is Honeymoon Island State Park. Honeymoon Island has more than four miles of beach to explore, and you can spot beautiful birds and animals throughout your stay. So why is it called Honeymoon Island? Well, according to the Dunedin Museum, Honeymoon Island was formerly known as Hog Island, but in the early 1940s, honeymoon-type huts were built on the island for a vacation, and the name was changed. It was time to sit down and enjoy the sun. Check this out! How cool is it to find one of those little libraries here at the beach? It brightened up my day to spot them in the most unexpected places. Look at these really cool bikes. You can rent them with your entire family. I love that they have a rooftop so you can enjoy cruising the park even in the hottest times of the day. The high and dry grill allowed us to sit down and enjoy a meal together while enjoying the magnificent breeze and also the view of people kayaking, boating, and just enjoying the beach. Our server recommended the mango sorbet. I chose the non-alcoholic version and it was heavenly, pure mango goodness. The burgers were so yummy. They were flame grilled and full of flavor. After eating, we decided to go ahead and drive to Tarpon Springs. We had explored this city before and we have already provided you with a video for that city, which you may want to watch. So go ahead and click here. We had made a reservation at Island Excursions for a cruise that would take us to Anclote Key Preserve State Park. We boarded a big boat and decided to sit at the very front, although it was very sunny. 
The boat does have plenty of areas with shade, but we wanted to enjoy the breeze and possibly spot some animals. As we continued cruising along, we spotted a group of manatees swimming together. This was completely unexpected and we were so happy we got to see them. It seemed like they were heading towards Anklot Key just like we were. By the way, if you have not clicked that like button, go ahead and do it now. It really helps my channel. And if you have not yet subscribed, click that subscribe button so that you and I can continue learning Spanish together or exploring the world together. Once we arrived to Anklot Keep, they gave us 45 minutes to explore the area, whether that included swimming, shelling, sunbathing, basically whatever we wanted to do. When we got off the boat, we noticed there were a few people there already, but the place is so big that you really never feel like it's overcrowded. The sand was soft and it felt wonderful to walk and feel the breeze. The water temperature was simply perfect and the color was so beautiful. We walked and explored most of the time. We eventually got in the water, and look how clear the water was and how many shells you can find. We finished out the trip collecting a few nice shells, and as we walked back to the boat, we spotted this friendly tortoise. The perfect way to leave Anklot Key. Back at Tarpon Springs, we were greeted by tons of seagulls. They were all by the sponge docks. They were fishing and focused. Welcome to Dunedin, day two. Today, we're gonna go ahead and explore the downtown a little bit more, and we heard that there is an awesome farmer's market, which you already know that we love to check those out. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's start this way. I love the murals and the colorful walls that are all throughout the city. This is one of the pretty, pretty, pretty ones that I've spotted so far. But I heard that on the back of this building, which is a restaurant, it's called, I believe, The Living Room, there is supposed to be a gorgeous one with dogs and cats, and I cannot wait to see it. Let's go see if we can find it. Oh, yep. And just as I turn the corner, look at this gorgeous mural here tons of doggies and cats and kitties and puppies and big dogs and little dogs all colors all sizes beautiful look there's art everywhere here we walked and talked to many vendors and we eventually settled on having some yummy thai dumplings they look delicious since it was hot, we also bought some Thai tea, one with cream and one without. Okay, let me try. That is very good. Very good. <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys. I have to try this one. Thank you, have a good day. Boss loved the Thai tea with cream. For me, the one without cream was much more refreshing. It almost tasted like agua de panela con limón that I've had in Colombia and Venezuela. We also stumbled across a beautiful booth. I knew I would spend some time looking in there when I spotted some gorgeous jewelry and some beautiful Colombian mochilas. Bass took a seat in front of the booth and just waited until I was done. Next, I met Paula and her mom. We talked for a while and I really enjoyed talking to them. I bought this beautiful Frida Kahlo earrings and I also purchased a Colombian mochila. Look at this one. I love that one. Okay, so now that we already had a couple of snacks at the farmer's market, 
which we totally enjoyed. We're gonna go ahead and get some real breakfast and some coffee, because we haven't had coffee yet, and my videographer really needs coffee right now. So <laughs> we're gonna go get coffee um, and enjoy a little bit of time in one of these cute little coffee shops here in downtown Dunedin. After eating yummy things at the Dunedin Downtown Market, we decided to look for coffee and we stumble upon a hidden gem. We are at Vescalini Cafe. And we are super excited to go ahead and try their coffee. Hey, how are you? Good, we hear the coffee is amazing. Yeah, tell me about your coffee and your adorable coffee store. It's so cute. Thank so you. stylish. Thank you very much. Um, so the coffee shop um, been open six, almost six months now. Oh wow, okay. So it's pretty new to the area and in general, uh, pretty new business for our family also. Okay. So it's a family owned business. Oh, I love that. We um, love to support the small businesses and family owned businesses. And you can tell on the service. So this is mostly like Italian, uh, Italian beans coffee and oh. European style coffee shop. So I'm uh, Ukrainian. Okay. I was born in Ukraine. My husband, my second half, and my partner in business. Okay. He's, That's a, awesome. he's Bulgarian. So here is like a mix of uh, style, but most important for us is just to bring uh, people the happiness and joy and comfort and a uh, nice vibe of uh, and good feelings you know to visit this place so everything relaxed everything um, sweet it, uh, yes know? this perfectly decorated european style cafe is called vescolini cafe we were greeted by the owners husband and wife who worked together to make this coffee shop a fantastic place to stop for a bite for coffee sodas or desserts oh Ooh, yum. Yum. that looks delicious and, and those are the bacalaos thank you so and i'll much. bring you some extra napkins we had coffee soda and cream and a tremendous tiramisu and some delicious baklavas everything was delish we sat for a while and we enjoyed our treats the next day, we woke up early and we headed to Tampa to meet Paula at the Armature Vendor and Craft Fair. Now, Armature Works has so many things for you to explore. They have restaurants, they have stores, they have activities. It is a really cool place to go to. I immediately spotted Paula and her mom and I fell in love with their products one more time. This time, I ended up buying the Frida Kahlo necklace to go along with the earrings I had purchased the day before. Look at all of the beautiful things they have. I could seriously buy everything here, but thank God I remember I'm a teacher and I can't. So for now, I follow them on social media and I plan on splurging every once in a while. Dunedin is such a beautiful town that is so worth exploring. It has a lot of charm. I definitely want to encourage you to go ahead and make it part of your itinerary if you're in that area. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that like button. I really appreciate that you're here with me today. And by the way, don't forget that you can check the information box below for a link to my blog post. That will give you a lot of information that I may have not covered here, but that will be definitely useful. And if you have not subscribed yet, don't forget to do it. It really helps my channel. Gracias. Adios.